All right, guys, Assassin's Creed is dying. We need something big for our next game set in Japan. Also, people hate us. We need a way to distract consumers away from the fact that Ubisoft is making this game. Boss, I, I have an idea. What if we use controversy as a way to market this game? Controversy? What do you mean? What if we made two main characters? One Japanese and one black. One black? But it's set in Japan. I just looked this up on Wikipedia. Apparently there was one black samurai retainer named Yasuke. Whoa. See, it works perfectly. You'll have one side argue that having a black samurai in the story is disrespectful towards Japanese culture. And you'll have the other side argue that he was a historical retainer and that Naoe is Japanese. This is amazing Twitter bait. Both sides will argue for weeks and since they'll be distracted by arguing, they won't notice that we're charging over $100 for the gold and ultimate editions. <laughs> this is great, let's do it! Guys, 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 guys. This controversy makes no sense. It holds no weight whatsoever. This is the last thing that people should be complaining about. Yasuke is a historical figure. This is the right way to go about inclusivity and diversity. We we're always crying about the fact that guys, these people are shoving black characters down our throats. They're race swapping, they're gender swapping, they're doing all this stuff. There's no context for it, there's no precedent for it. But then when they finally do it the right way, <laughs> what do you want from me? But let's be charitable. Let's try and steel man the opposition's argument. I think what they're trying to say is they really wanted to play as an ethnically Japanese protagonist. If that's what the argument is basically saying, then I have no qualms against that. Sorry to straw man your position like that. But if that's really the argument, I don't have a rebuttal to that. It is what it is, guys. But guys, just because we didn't get an ethnically Japanese protagonist, that doesn't necessarily make the game woke. However, I did hear that Sweet Baby might be involved in this thing, so... Aha! However, I'm willing to offer a bit of grace to these guys. Basically, innocent until proven guilty. It's also doubly weird that people are still putting their faith and hopes in a company like Ubisoft. Have you forgotten what happened to Skull and Bones? The easiest layup, which is literally take what you learned from Assassin's Creed 4 and improve upon it and make a pirate game. And they failed dismally at it. And then the other thing is, they are four years late to the party, guys. Sucker Punch and Ghost of Tsushima have already set the gold standard for what a samurai Japanese game is supposed to look like and play like. And if you honestly think that Ubisoft is capable of producing something that will equal or surpass the likes of Ghost of Tsushima, you got another thing coming. Ubisoft is not in the business of making passion projects. Ubisoft is chasing the dollar. Wow. Keep talking in the anime voice. <laughs> oh, you want more anime? All right, so oh, guys, here, so I'm gonna do a little like I'm gonna do like an inner monologue, okay? So like you can't hear what I'm saying, okay? Wow. Well, my teammates seem cool, and I'm letting them down. I better start trying harder. <laughs> My wrist quirk is usually stronger, but the last match depleted my powers. Once my powers regenerate, then I can hit level 1000 and go Super Rizzler. 998, 999, 1000. I wonder if the other team has gamer girls. I sure hope so. I'd sure like to meet one. <laughs> They're happy to announce that after an eight year gap, a brand new addition to the Batman Arkham game series is being developed. Wait, really? Yep, those are some of my favorite games of all time. We know and we're excited to put you back in the bat suit with Batman Arkham Shadow. Oh, I'm so hyped right now. Okay, you gotta tell me though, who's the main villain gonna be? We'll reveal more details on a later date. All right, that's fair, that's fair. I'm just so excited for a new gen Batman game. We're happy to hear that. It's gonna look so good on the PS5. Well, about that. What? It's not coming out on the PS5. Oh. 
Is it a Microsoft exclusive? I mean, I guess I could play it on PC. Arkham Knight eventually worked. No, it's also not a Microsoft exclusive. Don't tell me it's a Switch. It's not the Switch. Oh, it's not coming out on PlayStation. Correct. And it's not coming out for Xbox or the Switch either. Also correct. This isn't gonna be like that Netflix Black Mirror movie, right? Nope, this is an actual game that you are actually gonna be able to play. Then what am I gonna play it on? You can play Batman Arkham Shadow exclusively on the Metacrux- Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Hey, you know what, guys? You know, a part of me honestly wishes to get to a point whereby I am so financially secure to one of brothers' level such that even if I lose a couple million or a couple billion, it's just, it just doesn't affect me, you know what I mean? On second thought, you know, if I did get to that point, I'd probably become the most pompous and most hated guy on YouTube. <laughs> so maybe that's not such a good idea. On one of brother's case, I just don't get it, man. It's like, what are you guys so afraid of? Why can't you just make a good Arkham game? Something that the fans want. They're probably like, we can't. We don't know how. All the talent has left us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I think in on one of brothers' case, I can I can empathize. All the talent has left. So who's going who's going to make a good Arkham game? It's a sad situation for one of brothers' guy. But anyway. <laughs> Awesome, but you should know something. You like me as a friend? Yes! Because I'm gay. I just can't be at home right now, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a few days. Pugsley, too. I don't think that's allowed, Barney. This is the first place I've ever felt like I could just truly be myself. But that's how I feel. I didn't think you cared about the park. It's not the park. It's... It's me. I'm trans, Norma. Keeping this inside is killing me. It's like this whole thing is a cork plugging up the rest of my life, and I just can't move on with anything until I get this feeling out. Like time has stopped until I can say it. Say that you like this person? That I like girls. That I'm bi. Whoa. I don't think I've ever said that out loud before. I can't watch anymore. This is getting ridiculous. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here. Because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. So now, children are openly being targeted. Kids shows have now become gay and trans manufacturing factories now. How sick and depraved is that? What three or four year old is thinking to themselves that they might be a boy or they might be a girl? No kid is thinking of such things. Just let kids be kids, man. This is deeply disturbing and demonic. Dude, when I grew up, guy, we grew up if you were born in the if if you were born in the 90s or even in the 80s, you probably had one of the best childhoods cuz it was simply pure bliss, man. Childhood was I enjoyed being a child. I can honestly look back at my childhood and say I really enjoyed being a child. The best years of my life. We had Dragon Ball. We had Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you kidding me? We had Pokemon Guy. The Secret Saturdays. We had Ben 10. We had Dexter's Lab. We had the Flintstones Guy. Are you kidding me? Pure Bliss. Static Shock. Batman. The Animated Series. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pure entertainment designed for children. There was not a single point in any show I watched as a child whereby someone was talking about the fact that the gay. What do you mean gay? Yo, goodness gracious, guy. And like I said, man, this is this is a whole new level of boldness and degeneracy. Guard your children. I'm Tata. And I'm Wata. And we're my fairy godparents. Hold up. 
Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah, I'm Hazel. Here goes something. <laughs> I'm okay. The brand new series of Fairly Odd Parents and New Wit. Okay, so you might be asking, Ergo, why do you care? It's a kid's show. I think a better question to ask is, adults are making these kids' shows. Adults are the ones who are now putting DEI in kids' shows. So why do they care so much as to do that? He's out of line, but he's right. I don't understand why black people always have to be getting sloppy seconds. It's honestly insulting and disrespectful. It's like, you know what? Black people don't deserve to have something that is simply original and created for them. So why not just, uh, you know, why, why not just race swap some white character, make them black? The blacks will love it. It's cheap tokenization. <laughs> is there such a thing as expensive tokenization? <laughs> it's lazy and unoriginal. This depraved idea of black people have to see themselves in the characters or whatever TV shows, it's honestly pure lunacy. Having to teach children that they can only appreciate certain art and media as long as it looks like them is a bad example to be setting for children. You're simply grooming children to be, to be racists in future. If these people actually cared about representation and diversity, they would be doing their utmost best to write it in such a way that is not only cognizant, but also written tactfully and with nuance. But the very fact that they're not even willing to make original stories for the sake of diversity, that should tell you that it's not really about diversity. It's simply them just checking boxes. <laughs> anyway, as usual, thank you, you awesome, fantastic people for tuning in and for uh, liking and subscribing and supporting my content, giving my life a bit of meaning. Remember, stay frosty and VWIW. Vote with your wallet. <laughs>